Yamcha the Desert Bandit. This man is quite popular amongst fans but hasn't exactly been treated the best as the series went on. So today we're going to be talking about what actually happened to Yamcha, at which point did he start to get sidelined or was he in fact always sidelined? So let's get into the video and I hope you enjoy. So we first met Yamcha as this ruffian in the desert causing hassle for Goku and Bulma, trying to steal the Dragon Ball so he can wish to be less shy around girls and finally get a girlfriend. So straight away he's a bit of a gag character, but he captured the hearts of fans straight away. He was pretty strong in battle at first, even giving Goku a run for his money. And I think the appeal about Yamcha was that he was just an ordinary guy, he was cool, he used cool moves like the wolf fang fist, and it was just hard not to love him straight away. Yamcha joins up with the gang and ends up helping out massively during the pile-off arc, and then trains himself up for the 21st World Martial Arts Tournament, where he only reaches the quarterfinals. So straight away Yamcha was never really built up as this incredible fighter, Sure, he was definitely better than most human fighters out there, but if you compare him to the others, he was always last in the pecking order. He was defeated by Jackie Chun, who did go on to win the whole thing, so I guess you can't really moan about that one, as Jackie defeated Goku as well. I think after this is when his character really drops off a little bit. You have a lot of the Bulma shenanigans going on, and Yamcha and her just always seem to be arguing. He does have a decent fight in the Baba arc, but relies on outside help from Roshi's blood spilling on the dude and revealing this invisible man, which was a pretty funny fight, but at least he was still involved in the main story unlike nowadays. Yamcha's tournament record is the same thing every single time. He got knocked out in the quarterfinals in all three tournaments, and usually to someone who is leagues ahead of him. In the 22nd he faces Tien, another character who has massively been underused, and probably more so than Yamcha if we're honest, and we have the famous leg break for Yamcha, and I think this is the moment that had a massive impact on his fighting career. I think he kind of realised at this point that he just wasn't ever going to be as strong as some of these new guys coming up, but it never stopped him from training and being determined. He entered in the 23rd and again at the quarterfinals he's matched up with this wacky bumbling fool named Hero. Surely he can beat this guy right? Nope, it's Kami in disguise and he destroys him. Yamcha did however show what he was worth and even Kami recognised him here so this is some sort of accomplishment I guess. So that was pretty much it for the original Dragon Ball series, where exactly did he fall off, was it the leg break or was it even earlier? I actually think Yamcha never really was supposed to be a massive fighter, maybe really early on when he was putting Goku to the test and he was a part of the core three fighters with Goku Krillin and himself. I think that's the only time he was really a main fighter. After this you have the likes of Tien come along and the leg break is probably the real moment where he kind of realised that he will never be that guy. Yamcha is just this regular dude who trains, inspires to fight with the best, and I think that's why he's so liked. He's always around, he's always supporting his friends, and overall, he's just a great guy. Uh, Yamcha! Uh, uh, Yamcha! Yamcha! Dragon Ball Z Yamcha is now playing in a baseball team, and this was a great use of his talents, and it came back around in Super where they have a baseball match, which was such a nice way to just bring him back and give some development for his character. The massive moment in Z, and the one people say is the moment that just took him off the map completely, is of course him being killed by the Cyberman. It was hard to watch after years of this man training, just to get destroyed like it was nothing, it was probably another massive moment that just made him realise that he isn't the guy, but that's fine. He's still always around, I kind of view him as just this sideline character. Similar to Oolong, he'll be there in the stand supporting his friends, but he can't fight anymore. And it's a shame because he could have been a great fighter if they just pushed his abilities, but as the series went on they kept introducing these world ending threats, and it became harder and harder to fit in the regular humans. Saiyans get stronger with each fight, but the humans they kind of wrote themselves into a corner, Every arc a stronger foe shows up and eventually joins the crew. Vegeta, Piccolo, the androids and then Boo, all of them stronger than Yamcha and every single time Yamcha gets pushed back as a fighter even more. I still think Yamcha is a great character and he made the original series so special and brought a lot of life to it. But for the story to progress you sometimes have to sacrifice certain aspects and Yamcha fighting was one of them. I think it would have been really cool if he got like a wolf fang fist transformation or some massive power up but it would kind of come out of nowhere at this point. Heck, even in Super, when they are picking the Tournament of Power teams, they give Roshi a buff, they give Krillin a buff, they even give Tien a buff, kind of. But they don't touch Yamcha. My guy's at home waiting for the call. He's just way too far down the pecking order, and it's a shame, but the fans will always remember him and love the character he is. At some point, they are going to ask me to join the team for the tournament, right? I mean, surely they have to want me there. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they'll get around to it. 
So overall, I don't think Yamcha ever really fell off. His fighting ability was always good for a human, but not good enough for everyone else. He didn't fall off, he just kind of fell down. But if I had to pick one moment where he really started to take the back seat, I'd say the leg break from Tien. After that, I can't really think of any big moments he had. But that's going to be it for this one. Let me know your favourite Yamcha moment and when do you think he started to fall off. Be sure to like the video. If you want to see a Krillin video next, we did Roshi and Yamcha and these are a lot of fun. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.